Snitching in the streets, ain't no forgiveness, I'm just praying, ain't no witness R.I.P.'s in the clip, if he take two to three steps, that's what I'ma give him You know Boog never slipping and I'm steady limping Cause these Benjis in my britches got him unlifted Uncle serving dog and got a sentence, but he know no snitching, he gon' Michael Vick it, yeah, yeah I'm just getting up. Um, I'm basically going to show you what I do to zen. I also just want to throw in how important mental health is. I feel like this is something that is looked over or judged upon. So to me, it's very important. My mental health is everything. So this is just something that I do to keep me mentally sane. And this is a judge-free zone, people. Every day, every morning, or if I'm just not having a good day, like, I'm just gonna show you my process. So the first thing I did was I got up, washed my face, brushed my teeth. I took a relaxing bubble bath. Like, it was everything I needed. Epsom salts, Dr. Tears bubbles. Get into him. Get into him. So, yeah, that's normally what I do to just start my day. Um, and then I also drink a lot of water. Matter of fact, one minute. So, um, the third thing. So, basically, the first thing I try to do is keep in mind everything that I have to do for the day. Now, zenning can mean whatever to anybody. There's different forms of zenning, there's different levels to it. I'm just doing my daily zen, which is to get my mental prepared for just the day that's going to come. So, um, I normally just keep in mind everything that I have to do, like whatever runs I have to make. Make sure I put it down on the, on the list, of, like on the paper or in my notes. Um, I start with the easiest, quickest do that first get that out of the way and then the hardest I try to see how long it'll take me to do it because you know with my son I have to worry about e-learning and then I also have to go to work and I have like a mid midship so I don't get to do everything so I kind of write everything down so I know what type of time management I'm working with um so that's the first thing I do. I also wrote down some notes just to kind of, because it's just the routine that I do. I never really thought to make a video for it, so I just kind of write down my routine. So the next the next thing I do usually is um, think about things that I want to change, like change as far as me as a person or situations in my life I want to change or goals that I want to reach I usually constantly repeat just repeat that in my head no matter what every morning throughout the day keep in mind the things I want to change and the things I'm working towards so when I start getting frustrated or the day starts getting long or frustrating I just try to keep in mind the purpose and you know later on down the line it'll pay off um, the next thing I do is also when I'm doing that is remind myself of what I do have good that's going on, you know, to appreciate life, be thankful for what I do have, even if it's not where I want to be, I always try to remind myself it could be a lot worse, you know what I'm saying, so I always keep in mind, even if it's like a dark moment, it can't get no darker, and you know, they say not to say that, but when you in that moment you feel like this is it so if you tell yourself that then you also can remind yourself like it's gotta get better it's going to get better i'm claiming it it is going to get better so i always have to constantly remind myself of that and um after i kind of do my tasks and Remind myself of my goals. Remind myself of what I'm thankful for. The next thing I do is basically just get a peace of mind. I just make everything quiet, make everything dark, have a candle, which I already have lit, 
and this smells really good too y'all i don't know if you can see the scent but it smells good it smells like maple it's called a oh, caramel maple it do it smells real caramel maple-ish so it, it smells good i try to have different scents different moods you know what i'm saying so i normally just turn the tv off keep the house quiet close my door make sure my son is straight first and then i zen so that's what i'm gonna do right now so basically when i do that i am blocking out anything around me any noise any energies any vibes i am normally just sitting there listening to silence that might sound crazy but if you close your eyes and you really just sit there and listen to the silence and just let all the frustration, all the confusion, all the chaos, just let it go. Like how this good example right here would be how this instant, how the light is just showing the smoke going all the way up. That's kind of how I feel. Don't laugh at me, y'all. But when I really sit here and zen and I let everything go, it's like everything just seems to like come up. I feel it like lifting off me. So that's basically what I do. I sit in silence until I feel like I feel lighter, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. That was well needed, y'all. I did have something bother me this morning. And I feel better. I really do. Um, this is something that you have to mentally be open to. It's not something that you just jump into and do. You have to mentally be prepared and open-minded to where you're really releasing bad energy out of you. And... You have to also keep in mind the energy that you're releasing off of you is also going into the environment around you. So you want to make sure you're protecting that as well. You know what I'm saying? That's why you keep the peaceful environment. The, the environment is clean. You know, you got your candles, you got your incense, you got your sage. Like, I did that too, just to show y'all. But it's more of a mental thing people try to make it spiritual but to me it's more mental it's not more so a spiritual thing but if it is spiritual to you then by all means i get it but it's more of a mental thing for me i try to always keep my mental strong because it seems like i'm being attacked 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 mentally every time i turn around no matter how positive i try to be so i just have to find ways to release and this is the best way for me to release especially before work after work on break whatever it, i need to do whenever i need to do it this this is it um after i take a little moment of silence i normally um work out or stretch um y'all probably see my workout video i normally do that workout or if i don't have enough time like right now i try to stretch um the stretches i do are basically to relieve um, to relieve like the stress inside of your muscles. So I usually do like arm stretches, leg stretches. And the biggest part about it is the breathing. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, if you breathe right, you feel better. It's also a breathing exercise along with the stretching. Even when I stand in silence, I normally breathe. So I usually just take a deep breath in release it out 
and just keep doing that with each stretch. And before I know it, I feel better. Like it even gives me energy. It gives me energy mentally and it gives me um, energy physically to just go handle whatever the day is finna give. When I walk out this door, whatever today finna give, I'm prepared for it mentally. Because I be over it. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I be over it. Like I've been through so much that my patience is very, very, very thin and I get annoyed. So that's something that I'm working on. And this is something that helps helps me. It puts me in a better mood. Um, it helped me get through grieving, which I'm still doing. That's another video. But it helps me a lot. So um, I just want to come on here and just basically talk to you guys about it because someone mentioned it um, in a comment on how to zen. So... Like I said before, it's more so a mental thing of taking breaths in and out, talking to yourself about what you don't like, what, you, what you're going to change, how you're going to change it, appreciating what you do have, accepting it, and moving on with the day. That's pretty much my daily zen. Now, it's different levels. Like I mentioned, I have a zen for bad energy around me. I have a zen for just a bad day. I have a Zen for, like I mentioned, grieving. So it's it's different levels to it. And I do do it in different ways. Um, that's something you guys want to know about. You know, you can comment on that too. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I feel really calm, but I have to get ready for work. Um, get my son ready too. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys have any more suggested videos, drop it down below. You know, tell me what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video, what you would have wanted to see more of in the video. That way I know, you know, do it a little different next time. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share to your girl. Because it's a movement. Like, we, we need to get up here. Like, where's, where's my YouTube family, you know? Let's do this. But thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video.